be Tiff. I know y'all have your premiere tonight. You must be so excited. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, I loved this film so much. Thank you so much. Um, I think it's such an important film and I just, I loved every second of it. So just congratulations. I hope you'll be doing lots of celebrating later. Yeah, I, so I think much. we will be. I think we will be. Especially yes. the cheerleaders will be there. to. <gasps> so, uh, you know, it's always a celebration with them. Nobody gets hype like cheerleaders. <laughs> I was a cheerleader for about like two years in middle school. Um, yeah. But I still, I still remember those cheers, man. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> but um I mean gosh let's just dive into every year performance it took my breath away it was so poignant and powerful and I think that a lot of people are going to relate to Riley and see themselves in Riley um how did the two of you this is kind of a big question I apologize mm -hmm. but how did the two of you work together to find the complexities and the nuances of Riley's conflicting feelings of both so much pain but also joy toward this sport who wants to take this one Do you yeah. wanna... <laughs> <laughs> um, me and dw have been working for over five years on creating this film wow. we originally had a proof of concept back in 2017 and since then we've been working with our writer joanne sarazen who is honestly incredible uh, and we have been working on developing the characters and the conversations that we want to have through the film, conversations about queerness, even though the conflict isn't surrounding being queer mm -hmm. um, and different generations of queer folks. And also how this is like a really badass sport that people really underestimate. Um, but yeah, that's like that's been something that has been on our mind to to make sure that everybody is three dimensional, like human beings, like Riley can be a hardcore, intense, perfectionist uh, cheerleader and, and can have mental health issues, but she can also be like really silly and dumb with her girlfriend. Yeah. Absolutely. Beautifully said. Um, I mean, I, I was a competitive dancer and I also struggle with OCD and anxiety. So <laughs> I think that there's so this movie was like you're the target demo <laughs> it was made for me it was made for me um <laughs> but I think you're totally right like the humanity is the, at the forefront of this film and it really like you're never um Riley is not a victim she's not, like she it's just just she is it's such a like I said it's relatable and it's 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 wonderful um DW have, do you have anything to add to that or yeah, I mean, we really just wanted to make sure, I think as a director, I love to play with like tenderness and, uh. and these really vulnerable scenes, you know, especially just you know, watching Debbie's incredible performance in the in those moments, just even in the bedroom. Um, and then I can cut right to like this awesome slam montage of like bodies flying in the air. It's like, I, I love just playing with juxtaposition uh, of going back and forth between between those two things in the film. Yeah, and that is so also, I'm just thinking of cheerleading um, like dance. It's this idea that there's this, there's this gracefulness, but also this incredible strength and power and playing around with that and in character as well. And I couldn't help but think throughout the film about strength, about physical strength, emotional strength, and most importantly, strength and vulnerability and how our society has just mislabeled that as weakness. Um, yeah. yeah. Can you talk about that and, and sort of the importance of bringing that to the forefront? I mean, I yeah. think it, I, or, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say we, we have lots to say. No. Um, I think it was important for us to explore the humanity, not only of Riley, the character I play, but also of Evan Rachel Wood's character, Eileen, who is the antagonist of the film, but still has like, you can see so much of what she's been through, through Evan's performance and and through the writing and the script and and so for us I think like having those juxtaposing forces of the badassery of cheer but also the femininity of it and and the the celebration of that and again I think one of the reasons why cheer is so like underestimated is because it's uh, a women's sport and because there's inherent misogyny they they just see people as like being cheerleaders on the sideline for football games or or basketball games but it's a sport in and of itself and and so it needs to be it needs to be taken seriously 
I also feel just like working with each actor, uh, it was really important for for me and all the actors to work on backstory because that informs so much of the nuance that you're seeing and and the little sleight of hand or, or the little delivery, uh, you know, here that feels really cutty and you're just like, oh, there's clearly history here. And so working with Evan, we really wanted to make sure like, where is Eileen? What is what is the situation going on with her ex-wife and, and really building that out so that would just kind of inform the frame and and same with Riley spending so much time and figuring out how long her and Amanda have been together and yeah I think it just it just did so much and brought so much of the characters to life to have all those backstories before going to camera. Absolutely. And I, I also love what y'all do in this film. You have conversations within the film that create their own conversations. <laughs> I love that scene at the, like that, the sleepover where they're talking about sort of what you were just saying, Devery, about, um, about cheerleading. And um, I love that. I think I, I love when that, when that kind of occurs in film. Also, um, Let's talk about the relationships because I loved, you kind of just said it, Debra, also the juxtaposition between these relationships in the film. You see the playfulness. Oh, it brought me so much joy, the playfulness between Riley and Amanda. Um, and then you see the relationship between Riley and her mother um, and Riley and Eileen. And there is so much sort of generational trauma and um, and and talk to me about how through these different relationships, Riley does sort of, I think, come out of it at the end with hope and sort of breaking these cycles of of finding not only love toward others, but love for herself. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you're doing such a great job about like pitching the movie. Like, I think like, you have it nailed on the head. Um, but those those are the three relationships we really wanted to to focus on um, and kind of dive deeper into. And I think when you're young, when you're you meet someone and you think they're amazing, you kind of try on people's personalities and you try on people's sayings or the way they talk or the way they walk. And and we we meet Riley in that journey of of her trying to figure out who she is and who she is in relation to Amanda in relation to, to her mom. And, you know, this new figure kind of comes into her life, coach Eileen, where she's like, well, maybe, maybe this is it. Maybe I just need to be like this person and it all falls into place, which, you know, we learn doesn't, but uh, yeah, by the end of the film, I think Riley, I think, also learns boundaries, which is uh -huh. which is also a very hard thing to understand as a young person, especially with our families. Uh, and I think it's just you know we don't see we just see like little glimpses of of hope and and, and growth with Riley by the end of the film. Absolutely, yeah. We didn't want this to be like a, a moral of the story movie, but these things do take place, and we we didn't want to have explicit conversations about them. We still wanted it to be like fun and silly and about cheer, uh, but there there's definitely um, some of those some of those healthy lessons baked in there. Yeah, I mean the whole. I mean Riley's still going to continue to grow, right? Like we never stop. Oh, yeah, watching. I'm still. I mean, watching this film, I was reflecting, like I said in the beginning, about sort of my teenage years and my early 20s and and um there's so, so much reminding me of like that we um you know there's labels society puts labels on us before we're able to even figure out who we are and then you have you then we put people on pedestals naturally especially when we in, aspire to be them um there's such a great line from Devin when he's it's simple but it's great when he's talking about Eileen saying she's just a person but that is so hard to remember, especially as a young person trying to be influenced and, you know, trying to figure out who we are um, and forgetting to just look at folks as peers, as humans. Um, and I think that, yeah, it's just beautiful. That's one of my favorite scenes in the whole movie and my, one of my favorite relationships. Mm. I think like being queer folks, we always wanted or for myself anyways, like being a young queer person, I would have loved to have had somebody like Devin who like keeps me in check, but also is like, hey, you're going to be OK. Yeah, absolutely. I That was an unexpected kind of relationship <laughs> that blossoms, which I really enjoyed. Um well, this has been so lovely. I don't want to take up too much of your time because it's a big day. But uh, <laughs> last but not least, I know this is kind of a loaded question, but I still love to ask it. What did both of you learn most about yourself going on this journey, working together? Um, how did y'all grow? 
professionally, personally, or how, you know, what, whatever makes you comfortable. I feel like, I feel like the more work you put in to taking care of yourself, Mm. the more you get to do it, the more places you get to go, the more people you get to meet, you know, you, the more you get to push yourself creatively. And I I think that that's, you know, such a a key lesson that I learned throughout shooting the film, a fast shoot 17 days. Um, and I think it's a lesson that I would, you know, young people really should should lean into. Absolutely. Absolutely. Devery, what about you? Yeah, it's hard to it's hard to nail down exa- exactly like where I think I've grown or what I've learned specifically. But I think I've grown so much as an actor with this role of Riley. It's like it's some of the work that I'm most proud of as an actor. And obviously, this being the first feature that both DW and I are producing, we definitely learned a lot on the producing side. I going to say, uh, yeah, I bet. <laughs> professionally, yes. But it's um, it was such a it was such an incredible collaboration. And we're just so excited to be able to to release it. We filmed it back in February and March. So it's just been like a pretty fast sprint. Um, but yeah, we're just we're really excited. And, and I'm grateful to have been a part of this. Absolutely. And I'm so grateful to have watched it. And I can't wait for the world (laughs) to see it. um, Truly. So congratulations again. Enjoy tonight. Celebrate and celebrate. It was so lovely to see you again, Devry, and so lovely to meet you. you. Lovely to meet you as well.